Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Wednesday, December 19th, 2018. I am the Drunk Poke Guru. Lady Poke. And it is Beer Advent Day 19, Beer Time. So very excited. All the beers that are in the Beer Advent calendar now are barrel-aged of some sort. Cognac, uh, bourbon, I think that's it. Maybe just oak barrels. I don't know. There's a lot. Everything's bourbon barrel aged. So like Mrs. It. Poke knows what we have. So we will be doing these together because sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Yes. It's the Christmas spirit. Merry get, Christmas. I get to open it. It's actually wrapped halfway decent, so you've clearly wrapped this. Let's see what it is. I know what it is. Well, I know who it's from. It's from GLB. So making their second appearance this year, which is awesome. And this one is the Russian Bourbon Russian Imperial Stout Bourbon Barrel Age to celebrate their 30th anniversary. This is like our third or fourth bottle. We've had, yeah, and we, I, we got a lot of them. I think this one was a gift from yeah uh, from, from JLB of yeah, Troy and, and JLB. And so <laughs> thank you very much, guys. Eleven point nine percent. Eleven point nine. Um, so it's been sitting in our cellar since I'm going to say last year um, when yeah, it came out. Yeah, it was their 30th. This is almost right? this. This one's almost two years old then, eh? I, you know what? It was a beautiful beer when it came out. Here's the thing: like a lot of these stouts, we talk about aging them. Mean, you can. But for oh, the I most part, they're ready to drink. Um, with the bourbon barrel, we tend to find that heat comes down a little, right? Like, they're still boozy, but that kind of hot, um, that alcohol, if you, you know, if you drink bourbon, you get that kind of heat off of it. But uh, I'm all about the bourbon barrel aging. We do love, we're, we're a little partial to bourbon barrel, which is funny because we have no bourbon in our house. We really should buy some bourbon and try it because, so this is right into the cellar. Um, so these are drinking at five to 10 degrees which is the optimal temperature. Some people like them a little cooler, and that's okay, too. It's all about personal preference when you're talking. That's fine for now. Mine's a little fuller. That's how it usually Might as well finish it up. So I hope your beer advent calendar is going well. You have six days left, or five, depending on where you are. I am on the 25th because I'm like, want to get an extra beer to that sucker. But uh, let's give her a sniff. Lots of rich dark chocolate. You're getting that oaky mm. bourbon, vanilla. Okay. Smells perfect. Uh, cheers. Uh, happy Beer Oven Day 19. Wow. Wow, that's very taken... Good. That's become this very it's rich... Very yeah, very rich and smooth um, dark oh, chocolate. Some, yeah, yeah, you feel it on the back. Yeah, you get that kind of... You're still getting a booziness. It's, yeah. Listen, it's 11.9%. <laughs> so you're going to get... A booziness, but I find that that heat, that kind of sharp heat that you get when these things are young, yeah. is gone. It's this this yeah. mellow sort of internal warming that goes on. Lots of dark chocolate. If you got one of these, this is drinking beautiful now. We actually have one more bottle of this in your fridge upstairs. So it's mine? But you're hiding. You have to share. No, we always share so this one. So it's mine. No, sharing is caring. In, but it's in my fridge. My advent calendar. But the one in my fridge is for the advent calendar. You have to work tomorrow. I don't have to work tomorrow. Oh my god! So that's really good. I'm finding the vanilla is shining through that vanilla from the from the bourbon, um, the dark chocolate. There's that mm -hmm. coffee. It is it is it is a beautiful beautiful slow sip. Now here's the hard part for Mrs. Polk. You guys know I have at least one beer every day, and I have for over three years. Mrs. Polk has about uh, maybe four beers a week, so she's taken up this challenge to have a big boozy bastard. Every day with me until Christmas. Now, luckily, she's off a couple of those days from work. Yeah, and Monday got up early, so it's not terrible. But she's never done this before, and I, I don't encourage anybody to do it unless you want to. It's fun. But I'm glad for the help because these are big bottles. This is a lot of alcohol. And it's nice to share it because especially this kind of beer, it's good to share. Yeah, but you would always share this kind of beer with me. Absolutely. Because... It's just more fun to share it at Christmas time. Yeah. So anyways, guys, if you're selling this beer, honestly, I think it's drinking really good. about as good as it's going to get. I don't know. Maybe another year you could sit on it, but honestly, would you? It's, it, I think it's it, this is it's hitting its yeah, peak really right good. now. It's still boozy, but it's not hot. No. I don't it's know really if that's, that's, is that a good explanation? Sure. It's really good. Okay, so Merry Christmas to our friends at GLB. Yes, Merry Christmas, GLB. We a, just received a Christmas card. We did, we did. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for the Christmas card. Guys, you know, guys and gals at uh, GLB, you have big fans here from the Pokeroo family, so it, it, uh, we'll see you we'll guys soon. soon. Yeah. Very soon, once uh, life settles down. But until then, yeah. uh, we're going to go enjoy the beer. Cheers. Cheers. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Day 19. Yeah, day 19. 
It's so good. Like it's it's like super rich. Yeah, it's really good. You don't want that, do you? No, that's mine. Jesus. What are you gonna, what are you gonna do?